Welcome everyone. This is Michael Newert with the EMF eCourse and I'm joined by Satya Giordano. Hello Satya, are you there? Hello. Great. Thanks for joining us Satya and helping out. This is the live Q&A with students for the eCourse uh, on April 16th, 2024. We thought we'd start with a little bit of an update on the safe and sound millimeter wave test meter. Relatively new test meter. Satya and I have had a chance to work with it. So before we get to your questions, it's the kind of thing a lot of people are asking, you know, what about those 5G detection meters? Um, so, yeah, so for, for 5G, you know, we have one of the confusing things that's always been about 5G, and I'm even hearing 6G and 10G now. So there's a lot of this marketing <laughs> kind of stuff. Um, I'm sure it'll be 100G soon. <laughs> and uh, But anyways, um, 5G is, a, is, is several different things. And so when you say 5G, we have to be a little careful. And basically, um, when we're talking about 5G, I think of it as two, two different parts of 5G. There's all of the, what we call um, low band and mid band. This is just like 4G, this very similar frequencies, some new frequencies that have been added, but in the same range. And it's all these um, below eight gigahertz. So this is our standard radio frequency test meters, like the um, Safe and Sound Pro, um, like the Acousta meter. A lot of the meters have this, um, we'll go get into their frequency band, but this is what most meters pick up. And that's the um, low band and the mid band of 5G, which is mostly what 5G is right now. And then you have these extra new frequencies. This is what's new with 5G compared to 4G. There are some frequencies above 8 gigahertz, and that kind of, um, we'll get into that range, like here, 25 to 39 gigahertz. Um, so basically, these are the millimeter waves. So everything in this high band is what we call millimeter waves. You could also, so you also call it 5G high band, but um, that's in the millimeter wave region. So when you hear, a, you know, the term millimeter wave meter, they're talking about measuring these high band frequencies, not necessarily these lower mid and mid band frequencies. That's kind of important to keep in mind. So when you look at here, we're looking at this meter here, the Safe and Sound Pro millimeter wave meter. Um, and you can see in this case, here's a, um, they call this a stub, Satya, right? That's what they call that antenna? Yes. So yeah, this antenna is just a little stub antenna that you add to the meter there. And then there's another version with the horn here, a um, little, little different antenna. Um, and you can get the idea, here's a setup where you get this, this meter with both the um, stub and the horn, you get the Safe and Sound Pro, so you're getting kind of both frequency ranges. And I don't know what the price is right now, but you're in that kind of a range. You know, you're definitely over $1,000. So just to give you an idea what that is about. But basically, with this millimeter wave test meter from Safe and Sound, we're talking about 5G high band only. So it's not the majority of 5G. Because um, the majority of 5G out there is still low band or mid band, which the old meters do. And the frequency range of that meter is 20 to 40 gigahertz only. It's not in that 8 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz or 1 gigahertz or 200 megahertz. It's only measuring these 5G high band frequencies. So this particular meter doesn't substitute for the old meters like the Safe and Sound regular Pro. It augments. So what that is is you have um, in addition to the regular safe and sound meter or the acoustic meter or whatever you're using, that's usually in this kind of frequency range, 100 megahertz to 8 gigahertz, you, you're adding this to your standard meter. So you have a second meter. Um, and pretty much as I expected, when we use this meter, the, the millimeter wave uh, meter here, to test around, there's still relatively low usage in the out there of that 5G high band. The vast majority of still is in the low band and the mid band. Um, last weekend, I did some testing in Berkeley, for example, downtown, and I got a couple little blips of a momentary something that the meter registered and a couple, you know, coming up the freeway for an hour on Highway 101, I got a couple blips. Um, but even when I went back to where I first got the blip, I couldn't repeat it. So I didn't find anything, you know, after about two hours of testing, 
Um, I didn't find anything. Here's a place where there's high, you know, 5G high band. Um, everything I was finding was still the old um, low band and mid band, uh, mostly. And that's doesn't mean that you're you're not going to have 5G in some places um, that are the high band, but it's still not so likely. But what's neat about it, and you you mentioned this too, and I found this too, that meter, even if there isn't that much 5G high band, the millimeter waves being used yet, except in certain you know locations. Yes, it is. It's actually helpful to know that if you're not getting the 5, 5G high band, right? It's interesting, like you said, Satya, it's almost like worth the cost of the meter just to see to check your Apple cell phone was not emitting millimeter waves. Yeah, no, I was very happy to be able to finally confirm that. Yeah, same thing with me. It's like, you know, and so so a lot of the use of the 5G meter right now, the millimeter 5G, uh, millimeter wave meter, is actually, in most cases, you're confirming that you don't have millimeter waves, right? Which is still something we need to do now because it could be, and there's going to be more in the future. But right now, this high band millimeter wave um, technology is mostly still being used for like really dense urban areas, um, sports stadiums, you know, places where there's a lot of people and they have to, and, um, so there's, and there's, so there's, that's still where it seems to be at. And as much as possible, the companies are still tending to use things in this, this range that our normal meters measure in the low and mid band range is, is kind of what, um, most of the, um, 5G out there still is. So we're saying right now, um, our opinion, this um, safe and sound pro millimeter wave test meter test is still the, be is, is the best millimeter wave available at this time, and we recommend it. So we've used it enough. Um, it's really the only thing out there that does what it does. Um, so it's, what, it's pretty much what we recommend now. Would you agree, Satya? Um, I, I totally agree. It's what we'd recommend. It, I wouldn't necessarily say, say it's the only thing out there. There was the one we talked about last time, the uh, FM5 or whatever it was called. Right. Um, so I, I think there may be some others. And then if you're willing to spend uh, $10 million on something that measures just one frequency, there's probably other things too. But as far as what makes sense for uh, the, the general public, I absolutely agree. Definitely. Yep. 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 So the thing that I'm recommend, what we recommend the most now is kind of this combination the um, the the um, millimeter wave version here, and then the regular Safe and Sound Pro. Putting those two together, you're really covering a lot, um, and so that's you know kind of probably the typical right now, at least here in 2024. These are the this is the combination that you know will catch most of the things we're trying to find for the radio frequencies. Yeah, it's a, it's a great combo with, of course, a huge gap between eight gigahertz and and 20. Yes. But um, for for what most people are concerned about, uh, of course, not looking at AM and FM towers and whatnot, it's uh, it's a great set. Right. Very good.